Stand by, everybody. Yeah. Charlie, you haven't got your hammer, mate. Where's your hammer? Somebody find him his bleeding hammer. Yeah. Okay. And action. to escape because out there it's pandemonium. Six of the little buggers, all of them under eight and all of them shouting at the tops of their voices. I couldn't take myself think, let alone read the bloody paper. There's toys all over the floor, so if I get up out of my chair and I'm not watching my step, I'm flat on my backside. The other thing that gets me is, when all the kids are here, Reedy, my eldest, she talks to me like she's one of them. I'm not dad anymore, but granddad. All the time she's trying to get me involved. If you ask granddad nicely, he'll tell you the story of baby Jesus. No, he won't. Why not? Because the story of baby Jesus has caused no but bother since the day it was written. I've just seen myself in this here mirror. Sitting here in my party hat, I'm looking like old King Cole. Of course, now I am in here, it's no bad thing. These days, all this rich food, it goes in at one end and straight out at the other. From the minute I got here this morning, she's coming out of the kitchen all the time with trays of stuff. Yet now, Grandad, have a pig in blanket. Have a vegetable wonton, Grandad. What about a sweet corn fritter? I say, really, it's ten o'clock in the morning, for God's sake. She said, I know it is, but it's Christmas and we're celebrating. Oh. On top of that, I'm on my third glass of Antidot's homemade mulled wine, which as any of our lot will tell you, is enough to give anybody the trot. <laughs> She'll come knocking on this door in a minute. Hey, Grandad, are you all right in there? This is because after my funny turn last week, she's frightened I might have croaked on the privy. You might be asking what I got from Father Christmas. I'll tell you. A pink panda hot water bottle cover and two pairs of thermal socks. Needless to say, that wasn't what I'd asked him for. Now, I put in a request for a new pair of knees. Santa wrote back saying he couldn't promise anything, but he'd do his best for Christmas after next. <laughs> what did I tell you? Grandad, are you all right in there? Yeah, I'm fine. We're all having a little glass of something. Did you want a Bailey's or a Tia Maria? I'll leave it for now. Your mince pie's getting cold. Yeah, I'll be right out. <laughs> right. Now, this is typical of my really. Here I am, all ready to pull my trousers up, and what do I find? She's run out of bloody bog roll. You'd think, after the big knees up they had in here last night on Christmas Eve, she'd have checked this first thing this morning. <sighs> now this reminds me of my old dad in the 8th Army under Monty. In the Western Desert he had to use whatever come to hand. It's all these years later and at number 22 Claremont Avenue I'm in exactly the same spot. <sighs> Not quite. When I go back out there and the kids ask me what have I done with my party at, I'll tell them, I gave it to baby Jesus. And do you know why, children? Because his mother had given him down to wipe his arse on. 